how to divide decimal numbers. Let's look at one of the examples. We are working on a hedge around our house, which is 25.6 meters long. We know that between two plants, we should have 0.8 meters of distance. So we would like to know how many plants do we need for this hedge? To get that, we need to actually look at our whole distance and then divide by amount between two plants. So we're going to do the division of 25.6 divided by 0 0.8 and we will get the amount of plants we need for our hedge. Let's do some estimation first. 25.6 is roughly 26 meters. 0 0.8 is roughly 1 meter. So when we divide 26 by 1, we know that we get exactly 26 plants. So in case that we are having 26 meters of a hedge and between each plant we should be one meter, then we know for this um, whole hedge we need 26 plants. But of course we would like to know exact answer. So that's why we need to divide those two decimal numbers. And how do we divide two decimal numbers? The idea is that we make the second number a whole number. How can we do that? So we can actually move a decimal point one place to the right. That means that we are timesing by a 10 this number. But that we will get the right answer of the division, we need to do exactly the same thing with the first number, which means we are timesing both numbers by a 10. That's how we're going to get 256 divided by an 8. When we're going to divide these two numbers together, we will get exactly the same answer if we divide those two numbers together, yeah? So then let's give it a go. We write a division stage. We know from our previous videos that firstly we write then 8 out of the stage. Under the stage we write 256. And then we go digit by digit by digit, step by step. We say how many times do we get 8 into 2? We don't, so we might write 0 here on the top. But of course, we don't have just number 2, we have 256. So let's continue then with the next digit. How many times 8 goes into 25? It goes exactly 3 times. So 3 times 8 is 24. To get to 25, we've got the remainder of 1. Then our remainder and next digit, 1 and 6, makes 16. So how many times 8 goes into 16? Goes twice. 2 times 8 is 16. We have no remainder. And that is actually the correct answer for our question. How many plants do we need for that long, 25.6 meter long hedge? We need 32 plants. Thank you for watching.